My name is Sean Carrasso. Uh, I run a campaign called Falling Whistles. We're a campaign for peace in Congo. We ask people to be whistleblowers for peace. We use the money to rehabilitate kids inside our world's deadliest war, the war in Congo. My name is Chelsea Rafferty, and I am the director of events and installations at Falling Whistles. I found Falling Whistles seven months ago. I came from the interior design industry and came in to help them redesign their space and ended up taking over retail installations. Um, for those of you guys who don't know our story a little bit, I'm just going to kind of give you a little bit of backstory. I went on a Tom's shoe drop. Have you guys heard of Tom's? Yeah. Yeah. Those shoes they sell. Yeah, there you go. Um, we went on a Tom's shoe drop and just decided to get lost after that. There's this quote that we use a lot by Herman Melville. He says, it is not down on any map. True places never are. So the idea was to find true places. True people who sound they never heard before, and smell smells they never smelled before, and just go. We spent a number of months backpacking, going through jungles and everywhere we could get into, and ended up in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, on the fifth day that we were in Congo, we discovered an illegal military encampment who was holding escaped child soldiers and it was torturing them for war crimes. We exposed it to the UN, the kids got pulled out, and ultimately the encampment was shut down. But what the boys there told us is that the kids who were too small to carry a gun were being sent to the front lines, armed with only a whistle. They're being sent out as human shields has to make enough noise with the whistle to scare away the enemy, but failing that, they're supposed to receive the bullets with their bodies, and in falling, create a blockade for other soldiers to hide behind. I know that that is like some of the worst information you've probably ever heard. It, it definitely was for me. I completely broke down and I lost it a little bit, and I'm just bawling my eyes out. I wrote a blog called Falling Whistles, sent it out to about 80 friends and family, my mom, my dad, my grandma, my brother, and they literally boarded it around the world. Falling Whistles is a campaign for peace in Congo. They're currently rehabilitating 270 kids right now, 267 kids. Um, kids that have been affected by the war. Kids who either their parents have been killed or kids who have been forced to fight in the war and have escaped. We found a beautiful country, second largest rainforest in the world, a land of unlimited natural resources and a land that has been ravaged by war for almost 120 years. A people group that have been destroyed for 120 years but who carry themselves with incredible pride. We also found the deadliest war in the world today. In the most recent battle fighting, 6.9 million people have died. We have about 1,500 people dying every single day and about 1,200 women being raped every single month. That's 70% of the world's rapes happening in Congo today. And the war is funded by a mineral called Colton. It goes into our cell phones and our computers. So literally by purchasing our electronics, we are funding and fueling the greatest holocaust of our time. How do you solve a problem like this? How do you even begin to tell people about a problem like this? The program is totally holistic. They go through expression therapy, sports therapy, art therapy, dance therapy. They then go through job skills training. They learn carpentry, mechanics, tailoring, psychosocial support, education, and then ultimately reintegration. We sell the whistles. That's how we make the money for the rehabilitation. And then your job in wearing it is to be a whistleblower for peace this idea of I don't have all the answers I don't have all the solutions but I'm not going to be quiet about this problem I'm not going to pretend like it doesn't exist so now we say make their weapon your voice be a whistleblower for peace and we use the money to rehabilitate kids inside the war it's been amazing to see who is willing to fight for peace it's everyone it's black and it's white, it's rich and it's poor, it's Christian, Jewish, atheist, Muslim, everyone in between. All of the world has said, this is not okay. Whatever we can do to help, we're in for it. We have much more in common than we have been told. It was like, we're actually strikingly similar. Like we need to protect our fellow man. We need to do more, as the United States of America especially, to fight for peace, to fight for human freedom. What we found is that like, it doesn't matter who you are, you agree. Human life is valuable, we are all equal, and we're all born free. When we got back from Congo, we knew we were going to have to reach the world, so we wanted to be close to LA, because LA is an antenna that reaches the world. Venice was the perfect answer. Venice is an amazing community, we love being there. We have launched and created a revolution out of our garage in the heart of Venice. So thank you, We Love Venice. Go to www.welovevenice.com and they're, they're, they're pushing us, and we're www.fallingwhistles.com. Be a whistleblower for peace. Thank you guys for listening. Peace.